and the image within. Do you ever get a picture and you say, man, if I could just really crop in tight to this image, I could pull a picture out of this picture. And But you tell yourself, well, if I do that, it's going to be so small and pixelated, I won't be able to get a nice print out of it. Well, that's no longer a problem if you have Gigapixel AI. And I'm going to show you on this episode today how we can really aggressively crop into our images. I have five different examples. I'm going to show you how we can crop in and get that perfect image out of a picture and then send it into Topaz Gigapixel and then upsize it and print it. And it's going to be pretty interesting, and I think you're going to want to stay tuned and see how this is done. So without any further ado, let's get started. I have these five images right here that I've aggressively cropped using Lightroom. And now you can crop them using whatever software that you want to crop them in. That doesn't really matter. But the point I want to make today is, you know, sometimes we don't get the crop quite right in the camera. You know, our goal is to get that crop right in the camera, but sometimes we can't get it due to the lens we're using or whatever. There's different reasons why we don't get that crop. But I want you to know that you can aggressively crop your images. And I'm going to show you how aggressively I did crop these images and then you can use uh, Topaz Gigapixel and what it'll do is it'll reinterpret those pixels and let you resize your images so you can get a nice fine art print out of them. I'm going to upsize these into uh, 16 by 24 inch images where I could get a 16 by 24 inch print out of them and that's really cool. So next I'm going to show you the actual crops on the images. I'm in Lightroom right now and Notice down here on each one of these uh, images in the film strip, see this little icon here, the little square with the dashed lines? If you click on that icon, your crop dialog box will open up and then you can check out your crop and make any changes if needs be, which is really nice. So you can see the crop I made on that image. It was pretty aggressive. Here's the next image of the hummingbird. Again, I really cropped in tight. Here's this blade of grass. And that's the crop I pulled out of that one. And here's the next image of my grandson, you know, and in, in the heat of the moment, you're taking these pictures and it's like, you're not thinking properly on something like this. So, but this is the image that I cropped out of it. And I think that looks really nice. And here's the last image of a model. I felt I didn't need all that fence in there. So I, and I even changed it from a landscape to a portrait mode. And I think that looks better. So there you go. Those are my images. Those are my crops. And now next we're going to go into Topaz Gigapixel AI. I'm going to upsize these all into 16 by 24 inch prints that I'll be able to get beautiful fine art prints out of them. So that's up next. Here we are in Gigapixel. Now we have two ways of opening our images. We can click open here or we can come up to file and click on open images. Let's just go ahead and click open right here and it'll point you to your file browser and I'll just find the location where your images are. Mine are located in this folder called cropped images for upsize. I'm just going to go ahead and select all these images and click open. All of our images have now been opened up in Topaz Gigapixel AI. The image on the left is the original image. The image on the right is the preview of the upsized image. Now right now select all is checked on. Now that's really good if you have a bunch of images that are all the same format. Um, for instance, I have auto detect settings on which I generally use. And if you wanted to just leave everything in the auto setting, they're all the same format, you could just click on start batch processing and that job would be, would be done for you. It's really quick and easy. In my case, I have to set these up differently because I have some that are in the portrait mode and some that are in the landscape mode. So I'm going to uncheck select all. Now let's go ahead up and select our very first image. So just click on it with your mouse. And as I said earlier, on your left is the original and on the right is the preview of the uh, Gigapixel upsize version. And you can move it around. You can come to this navigator here and just move it to the position you want. Or the hand tool is on the left hand side of the screen. You can move it around, click and drag with your mouse on the on the left hand side of the screen and that'll move it around as well. Navigator or that, it doesn't really matter. And now I want to just come up here and this image is going to be a 16 by 24. Now all my images are going to be a 16 by 24 image because that's the print size I want to make. But the other thing is um, some are in the landscape mode and some are in the portrait mode. Like this one's in the portrait mode. So I got to make sure it's on height 
and I got to make sure the maximum height says uh, 24 inches. So I'm going to type in 24. And now my pixels per inch is set for 360. You can change that depending on what your printing company wants or if you know what your printer wants and you're printing your own images. Like for myself, I'm using an Epson printer and I use 360. That's what my printer likes. So I have mine set for 360, but you can change that. Face refinement is off. I'm going to leave auto detect settings on for all these images because I get really good results with that. All right. So that's the scenario that I'm using. So now let's click on our second image. Now this image is a landscape image and I want to make sure I have this one on width and let's change this from 16 to 24 and the 360 it remembers that so it's still set at 360 face refinement is off auto detect settings on we'll go to our next image let's go ahead and click on width and change that to 24 inches uh, wide okay and you'll notice down here it says width all right, now we'll go to our next image. Now this is a face uh, image with a face and it is in the portrait mode. So we want to make sure it's set for height and let's change that height to 24. And it remembers the 360 and the face refinement is on. So that's good. We want to make sure we have that on for this image. And there's a special uh, something that uh, Gigapixel does whenever it, whenever you turn face refinement on it, it it works differently with with faces so it's a really good technology so make sure you turn that on when you have a face and okay so it's 24 inches good we're good there now let's go to our last image this is in the portrait mode it's another face the face is turned on and it is uh, in the height and it is 24 inches so that's good now that everything is sized properly and we turned on face refinement on the last two images and we're good to go and you could you know verify all your settings to make sure everything's right so we have three set up for the height and two set up for the width so we're good now all we have to do is click on start batch processing and this dialog box comes up so now let's just set up this dialog box here so image format uh, you can use preserve source format. It'll just keep the format that you have, be it a TIFF or a JPEG or whatever. If you need to change it, just click it and change it to JPEG, TIFF, whatever, PNG, whatever you want. Uh, file name. Uh, this is really cool. You can add a prefix or a suffix. It defaults with a suffix when you purchase a Gigapixel. And it says Gigapixel. And that's the one I like to use. So when you when you look at your file names, you're going to have the name Gigapixel as part of the file name and the suffix, which is good because that's going to let you know this file has been upsized. Now where it says add scaling mode to file name, if you click yes, it'll put down the pixel dimensions, whether it was a height, width, or a scaling upsize. And then you have in the save directory, you have two choices. You can put it in the source directory. It'll put it right back next to the image it came from, or you can use a custom directory. Now I chose a custom directory. And if you need to change that directory to any directory you want, just click on change and your, uh, your file um, browser will open up and then you can point Gigapixel to where you want to place these files at, okay? And the last thing is color profile. And again, you could use the profile that's already on the image if you leave preserved source profile on, or if you click this, you can change it to Profoto sRGB. Depending on what your printing company wants or what your printer wants, you can change it. I'm just going to leave mine on the source, which was Profoto. All right, and then all I have to do is click Start. I shut my editing software off before I click the Start button so that the editing software wouldn't interfere with the actual processing times. And here's the final results right here. As you can see, the first image, 44 seconds, 56 for the second, 26 for the third, the fourth was 151 and the fifth was 56. Now the last two had the face refinement turned on. So they took probably a little bit longer due to the face refinement. Whatever they're doing there it takes a little longer. But those are the times and it's pretty quick. Now my computer is a iMac 2019 model. It's a later model uh, computer. So your mileage will vary depending on how old your computer is, what kind of a graphic card you have and so on and so forth. What kind of a processor that you have. Next, we're going to look at the images inside of Photoshop. We're in Photoshop now, and I have my rulers turned on. So you can see it is a 16 wide by 24 inch high. That's the first image. Here's the second image of the hummingbird, 24 inches wide by 16 high. 
The next image is this blade of grass. And the next one is the model here. And the last one is my grandson, Jacob, and it is a 16 by 24 as well. So now I could print those out to 16 by 24 inch prints from those very aggressive crops that I made off the uh, raw files. So Gigapixel AI is a fantastic piece of software. I think you would really enjoy it, especially if you like to crop into your images. Well, there you go. I'm sure you have a bunch of images out there that if you really examine and go back through some of your old files, you may find that there are pictures inside of your pictures. So go find those and crop them and get that perfect picture out of the picture. And then use Topaz Gigapixel AI to upsize it to perfection and go ahead and print out your next work of art. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you will be notified about it.